Dr. Sabaya Umi Kalsum Zulkifli uh, uh, for uh, her topic which is Personalized Learning Model in Achieving the Integrated Project 3 Learning Outcome for Quantity Surveying Program. So uh, over to you, Dr. Umi. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Zahi. Uh, can you guys see my slide? Yes, we can see. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera to all. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to present on the personalized learning in achieving the in integrated project three learning outcome for the quantities weighing program. Okay, my Team, uh, my research team is uh, com uh, consists of Professor Madia Dr. Nohanim Zakaria and Encik um, Imran Ar Arif Yahya. So basically, uh, the content of my presentation uh, consists of the introduction whereby uh, it is more towards on the literature uh, review on the personalized learning and the integrated project three learning outcomes. And to, on top of that, I also in, uh, put the, 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 what? The, 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 the relation between the personalized learning and the integrated project three. Second will be on the problem statement, research question, aims and objective, research methodology, analysis and findings, contribution and the conclusion. So for the personalized learning, okay, uh, the working definitions is taken from the Oxford Dictionary whereby the personalized is planned or created to fulfill the particular requirements of another. And where uh, learning is defined by the Center for Teaching and Learning, Berkeley University of California, California, which notes that learning is an engaging practice that draws on prior experience that happens in a fluid social setting and is placed in, a, in an appropriate context because it involves the inspiration and cognitive engagement of the learner. So therefore, the personalized learning is an approach taken by the educator. Oh, sorry. Uh, by the educator. Um, Oh, sorry, personalized learning is an approach taken by the educator to their students to ensure that the content of a topic or course is brilliant, brilliantly understood by the student in a definitive ma manner. According to Amanda Morin, every student's strength, needs, skill and interest were indeed different. So personalized learning can be used as an approach to optimize the learning method to fit the letter. For the integrated project subject, okay, the integrated project three is introduced to quantities weighing program due to the department's initiative in producing graduates who have a new and better kind of learning that will equip, equip them to deal with the challenges and the opportunities of this complex world. The demand for a work-ready graduates who are familiar with the organizational practices in the workplace is increasing and so the need for greater work integrated learning is a growing concern for the quantities weighing program. The work integrated learning include cooperative education, collaborative education, learning in the workplace and the community, field education, service learning and more. Therefore, at the end of the course, students uh, are able to identify the importance of integrating knowledge re relating to the quantities weighing field and to determine concept, principle, techniques and appropriate knowledge and apply the knowledge and skill for the problem solving methods. Okay. So, in general, based on the literature review, uh, uh, there are several issues being highlighted by the researcher, whereby one of the issues is the students most often question the consistency of their curriculum. And the other issue is the students more often question the way teachers teach and the level of performance expected of the student. And the third issue is the student felt uh, their course was not interesting enough and was tasked with taking notes mundanely for continuous examination purpose. Therefore, it can be concluded that the main problem uh, for the, the, the teaching and learning, okay, the students struggle to see the value or significance of what they are learning. In relation to the integrated project three for the quantities uh, surveying program, okay, there are several issues highlighted. The first one is about the modern quantity surveying profession regularly needs to deal with uncertainty, incomplete data, and competing customer demands, gov governments, environmental groups, and the public at large. <laughs> 
It demands social inclusion skills as well as technical skill, while trying to do so incorporating more human skill into their knowledge base and professional practice. To this quantity surveyor also have to cope with continuous workplace technological and organizational change. They must also figure out how to deal with the commercial realities of industri industrial practice in the modern world, as well as with the legal repercussion of every professional decision they make. Due to the above challenges, personalized learning has been foreseen as one of the solutions to overcome the problem faced by the students, faculty and the public in relation with the learning process. The aim of this, re the aim of this research is to apply personalized learning in achieving the integrated project tree learning outcome for quantity surveying program. And the research question is, what is the adaptation level of personalized learning in achieving the integrated project tree learning outcome? The second one is, what is the challenges in adapting personalized learning in achieving the integrated project tree learning outcome? And the last one is, how to overcome the challenges in adapting personalized learning in achieving the integrated project tree learning outcome for the quantity surveying program? The research objective uh, uh, the first one is to explore the adaptation level of personalized learning in, in achieving the integrated project tree learning outcome for the quantity surveying program. Second, to identify challenges in adapting personalized learning. Uh, in uh, Sorry, to identify challenges in adapting personalized learning in achieving the integrated project tree learning outcome for quantity surveying program. And third one, to establish solution in over, overcoming the challenges in adapting personalized learning, personalized learning in, in the integrated project tree learning, learning outcome. So process involved in adopting personalized learning in integrated project tree involved with the five stages. The first stage uh, consists of the selection of the teams and the selection of the international, international case study. The second stage involved with the task development, student categorization, and the third stage involved with the implementation and coordination. The fourth stage involved with the monitoring and controlling, and the last stage involved with the evaluation, assessment, and uh, assessment process. So for the stage one, okay, the we inject the internet, uh, we inject the personalized learning from the initial stage of the project, whereby the students are required to come up with a proposal consists of the selection of the teams and the selection of the international case study. For the selection of the teams, okay, uh, the the proposal given by the student consists of two topics. The first one is on the natural disaster technology, and the second one is on the sustainable building technology. Whereas for the selection of the international case study, proposal given by the student consists of three, Taiwan, Japan and Korea. Those uh, proposals were evaluated by the course coordinator and once uh, the, the after evaluating about the, the teams and the case study, the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, it was forwarded to the department's consent and approval. For the stage two, uh, it is more towards on the course coordinator uh, task whereby they, uh, they are, uh, the course coordinator is required to develop the task for the integrated project tree and also they have to categorize the students. Okay, And for the task development, it consists of the integrations of the knowledge whereby uh, as a co course coordinator, they have to, to make sure that the task that being developed consists of several knowledge, uh, especially on the construction technology, the construction construction economies, the construction law, measurement works, and etc. Whereas for the integrating of the practices, uh, we uh, the, the, the course coordinator have to ensure that the task given should should consist of the several practices, for example, the quantity surveyor itself, de developer, contractors, architects, engineer, and land surveyor. Why we impose on the integrating of the practices is because of uh, talking about the quantity surveying fields, okay, our service is being supported by these parties. So it is very important for the quantity survey to understand the, uh, the scopes and the, 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 the scope of, of others consultant in order for them to come up with their, uh, their product products. And the second thing is about the student categorization. Okay, the categorization of students, uh, students are divided based on their CGPA and uh, based on the level of knowledge. 
preliminary tests were given to the students uh, to identify the level of the knowledge and based on that result okay uh, student be divided so we have to make sure that every group have a good student and uh, 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 on certain uh, and every group has a student who has a certain level of knowledge so there will be a combination of the weak and the strong students and on top of that supervisor were assigned to each group to monitor to administer, to advise, to give consultation to, to this group. And this thing, the task development and student categorization also been presented to the departments to get their consent and approval. And on the third stage, the, it is mainly on the course coordinator and the supervisor actually and it is more towards on the implementation and the coordination whereby it starts from the briefing of the integrate, integrated project task uh, and all groups are required to, to propose the type of hazard that they would like to study and the, uh, the site selec selection in Malaysia that is prone to the hazard okay and based on that discussion uh, in the uh, first week and second week okay uh, the student come up with the uh, things that they would like to study for example for, for group one they would like to study on the flood group two would like to study on the sinkholes group three would like to study on the tsunami group four would like to study on the cyclonic storm storm and group five would like to study on the landslide and the last group would like to study on on the earthquake and the student also managed to propose the critical zone prone to the hazard. For example, like group one, their, for, their site selection is on is in Puchong Selangor. Group two, Kampa Pera. Group three, Kota Kinabalu Sabah. Group four, Kudat Sabah. Group five, Kuala Lumpur. And group six is Bukit Tinggi Kuala Lumpur. Uh, sorry, Bukit Tinggi Pahang. And stage four. This is uh, also a uh, need cooperation from the course coordinator and the supervisor, whereby it is more towards on the monitoring, monitoring and controlling the, the knowledge that the students will gather. And we have to make sure the quality of the knowledge that the student gathered. Okay, for the monitoring and controlling process, uh, weekly discussion with the supervisor were done and weekly presentation on the work progress to the course coordinator. And on top of that, uh, besides having a supervision uh, things, okay, we also bringing the industry to the classroom. Uh, uh, this, the, this, this idea is to avoid that. Uh, this idea was introduced to avoid the, 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 the what the boring environment or could be. We, we try to inject something new, so we try to uh, to engage expert practices to explain on the current scenario uh, on the uh, subject matter. Okay, for this, uh, 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 sorry, for the for for the expert, okay, we invite the metrology department, Dr. Hisham, and to explain about the conditions of uh, weather in Malaysia. And second, we invite uh, Upum Sudan Berhad, Dr. Meldi Suhakri, to explain on the types of the natural disaster in Malaysia. And the last one, we invite the, from the Kementerian Kerja Raya Malaysia, Dr. Datuk Maswan Ahmad, to explain on the feasibility study on how to perform the cost estimate on the building and the infrastructure project. And uh, besides bringing the industry to the classroom, we also bring in the classroom to the international level. In this case, we, we bring the students to Taiwan. Okay, uh, And uh, for your information, the proposal of the, uh, the international case study need was uh, given by the student. And uh, at department's level, we, we agreed to bring these students to Taiwan. And uh, while, we were, we, while we were in Taiwan, okay, visit, visit were done to the National Taiwan University, whereby one of the professor explaining about the condition in uh, Taiwan in related to the uh, to the natural disaster, especially on the uh, storm, uh, uh, typhoon, earthquake and, and tsunami. And Curry and Brown consultant, it is more towards on the quantities and practices in, in managing the, the natural disaster project. And we also brought the student to the National Center for the Earthquake Engineering. T.Y. Lee Engineering Consultant. And for your information, this uh, contact was established by the students. And the stage five, evaluation and assessment process. 
the evaluation and assessment process consists of the uh, consists of four the first one is the poster slide presentation report and peer assessment poster assessment were done by the supervisor supervisor supervisors and course coordinator slide presentation were assessed by the external evaluator and the qs lecturers report assessment but done by the supervisor and course coordinator whereas for the peer assessment uh, done by the group member Okay, so this is the task given to the to the students for the integrated uh, project three. Uh, we give the task related to the natural disaster because this is what they propose, and we try to set the the task so that it will match with the learning outcome of the integrated project three. So uh, uh, the the task that they required to do uh, is to identify the critical areas or zones that prone to hazard in Malaysia. They are also required to identify the prevention, mitigation, preparedness, response and recovery method for the identified hazard. And they also required to propose the disaster resistant building technology and to propose the disaster resistant infrastructure works related to the proposed building. And uh, the last one for the first task is to prepare the 3D model for the proposal. Second task involves the preparation of the preliminary estimate in the form of preliminary detail extract. To yeah, prepare, five minutes. So, okay, thank you. To prepare the first meeting, the request on the best procurement to be adopted for this development and to develop construction planning and schedule based on 4D BIM. And the last one is to prepare schedule of payment through 5D BIM. So, this is the example of the project that being done by the student.
Okay, uh, and uh, based uh, 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 after applying the personalized learning uh, to the integrated project, we would like to, to ask about the student opinion about the learning, uh, the, the teaching and learning method that being introduced. So therefore, a quantitative method using the question and okay. were given to the... Sorry? You have one minute left. Okay, thank you. We'll give to the students, okay? So, to explore the adaptation level, okay, basically most students agree that this learning method, method giving a, a lot uh, a better benefit to them whereby they increase the knowledge and their skills, okay? And to identify the challenges in adopt, adopting personalized learning in achieving the integrated project, the main problem is the financials and the time allocate, uh, allocated for the project. And based on the every challenges, okay, we found out that for the financial, uh, 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 we find uh, for this every challenges, okay, there will be a, a solution whereby for, for example, like financial, okay, uh, the solution is on the parent and community support and this is followed by the available resources. Whereas for the time allocated for the project, uh, the most important factor is the team planning time and the flexibility in scheduling. So this is the result of the so a solution in overcoming the challenges in adapting personalized learning in achieving the integrated project tree. So therefore, for the country, this country, this uh, research actually contribute and give impact to the teaching and learning. First, a combination of several methods of teaching and learning is introduced to increase to the knowledge and abilities in, the, in integrated project three, increase the opportunity opportunity in collaboration with the industry locally and internationally, enhancing personalized learning for quantities based program and impact for the students. Okay, the students are able to increase their confidence level through the process of selecting the topic and setting the question for the proposed project. They are exposed to collaborate to collaborative learning during the process of discussion with their group member and when dealing with the practitioner and academician locally and internationally. And students are exposed to the external classroom concept where practitioner will deliver a lecture on related topic based on project selected. Site visit is also being conducted to increase their understanding and knowledge on the given project. This, this will enhance their soft skills, okay? And students are able to learn at their own pace because project will be given and they need to find the information and solution at their own time and creativity. Whereas in, in, term of, in term of the teaching and learning innovations, uh, we introduced the hybrid learning concept adopting the word integrated learning, the external classroom and problem-based learning. So the conclusion is, um, uh, the subject of integrated project will need to follow these following criteria in order to achieve the desired learning outcome for the students. The design integrated project subject will need to begin with identified problem or situation that directs the area or context of study for the students. Second, for the student to progress through through the project as well as well as for his own learning, student initiated research is relied upon. The design integrated project subject will require high levels of student initiative, motivation and organization organizational skills need to be developed by the students. With that, I would like to say thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Umi. That was uh, really, really impressive. Um, so uh, again, I open the uh, floor to the uh, other presenters and to the reviewer who, uh, if you have any questions to uh, Dr. Umi. If 